Previously on Accidental Broadcast. Oh my gosh, this stuff is slippery. And we we all we all know how I am with slippery stuff. Ow. It's funny, when I was a kid, I would just soar through this stuff. Just running barefooted like a wall. Alright, so the waves are pretty big on the North Shore today. Um, I want to show you guys this surf spot called Jaws. I don't know if you've heard of it before, but it's one of the most famous surf spots on Maui. The waves are, um, can be enormously huge. Either way, if the waves aren't breaking, which, uh, I don't know, it's pretty windy right now. It's um, pretty choppy out there, but the North Shore around the Ho'okipa area, which is another beach about seven, um, seven or so miles away, is, oh, what is this? Look at this. Big drop off here. This used to be a nice little smooth hill. I wonder if I can get down this. <laughs> There's only one way to find out. Oh! What is that all about? See, they're trying to keep the bikes out of the pineapple fields. Um, anyways, Hokipa is about seven miles away and the waves are pretty big there. The whole beach is closing out, which means one big wave is just breaking across the entire bay. And that's usually a pretty good indicator that uh, Jaws is breaking. Um, although it's, it's close, it's going to be close. The waves have to be pretty big on the North Shore for Jaws to be um, breaking. But I thought we'd take a little trip through the pineapple fields so I could uh, confront the landscape that freaking took me out a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> I'm feeling much better. I'm at about 99.9%. Um, and don't grill me for not wearing gloves yet. I know, I know, I know. Just always wear your gear. Thing is, I went to the Kawasaki dealership today here on Maui, and I tried pretty much everything on. It's I, I'm I'm so picky with gloves because uh, if it doesn't. Uh, if there's too much resistance in the fingers, I feel very uncomfortable riding. I know they'll break in, but I don't know. I thought I'd come back and just not really jump on a gloves purchase too quick. I don't know. Maybe you guys can recommend um, something that's you know decent in relatively relatively humid weather. And. Uh, Um, relatively decent in human wet humid <laughs> in human weather um, in humid weather but still offer a little bit of protection uh, see the pineapple fields are dry now they're absolutely dry it hasn't been raining in over a week so I feel pretty comfortable on this terrain even with these tires that are absolutely horrible this terrain is is fine. It's just kind of dusty and this hard pack can be kind of slippery but it's nothing like that slippery hard pack mud like the uh, first video. So here's one of the lookouts here of Jaws is one of the more accessible lookouts. Well easily accessible and actually gosh it is breaking. It's small. There's just nobody out. Um, But it's breaking. I don't know if this, the swell is increasing and if tomorrow it's going to be huge, which is what it can be like. All right, I'll insert a video right um, now of what Jaws looks like when it's actually breaking and it's going off and there's people out there being towed in right now.
Yeah, so that's Jaws when it's breaking and it's um even though we're pretty far away and I don't even know if you can see those waves with this super wide angle, but those are big waves out there breaking. Uh they're probably in the yeah, I don't know, I'd say maybe the eight to twelve foot range. You measure the wave from the back, um, from the right behind the wave up to the top. And yeah, this is looking pretty pretty promising as far as tomorrow possibly being just ridiculously huge. Ooh, look, see that spit there? Alright, I'll sh show you a couple other uh, vantage points. Um, yeah, so if you guys have any gloves recommendations. And then the same with pants. I found there were a couple of uh, Yeah, this stuff is still slippery. There were a couple of um, pants by Thor that were nice, but they didn't have any leg vents. They also didn't have any hip pads, but they fit just really nicely. Um, so I thought I'd come back to the computer and maybe research them a little more. And it's kind of it can be hard for me to find pants because I'm six five, so the inseam's got to be 34, 35 inches to fit right. But surprisingly, all the MX pants seem to run pretty long. Ooh, this dust is actually a little slippery. Um, but yeah, the, so the fox, the foxes were great, but they didn't have padding. And the Thors had padding, but they didn't have, or was, is that backwards? I don't know, one or the other. One had padding, one didn't have um, vents. One had vents, one didn't have padding. So I said, screw it, I didn't get either of them. But I don't know, what do you guys ride with? I'm, I don't know, I, I'm thinking dual sport pants, but what are, the, are those just MX pants? I've never really owned, um, you know, real riding pants, but damn, I can see why people wear them now. <laughs> they aren't what I thought they were. I thought they were kind of like, maybe like surf short material that's really breathable and super light and whatever, but damn, that stuff is just rugged. I mean, that th those, those, uh, oh, what is this? Those um, pants are well built. A little, I, I call those field hippies. They're kind of like field mice, but <laughs> in human form. <laughs> no, that's mean. Uh, okay. Oh, cool. Let me show you something. So there's this. Where is it? Am I even in the right place? There's a cool little under, let's see, where is it? A little uh, trail down here. I think this is it. Is this it? Yeah, let's go down here. Whoa, hi-ho Silva. So we're going to check this. What, how the hell did they get a van down here? Oh no, that's not a van, that's a 85 Toyota 4Runner. When I was a kid, I had the uncanny ability to identify any car at night based on its headlights. I'd be like, 82 Tercel, two-door. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, I meant to ask you guys, what was your first car? Mine was a 1982 Mazda GLC station wagon with the floorboards rusted out to hell. Um, and just, it was just bad. Let, let's just say that, let's just say that Bondo and I became pretty close friends, if you know what I mean. No, I'll be right back. What? No, I'm just gonna go show them this view over here. 
I know you don't want me to leave you alone in the forest, but I got to go ch it's, I'll be, I'm, it's like 10 feet. Give me a break. You're a Yamaha. What? No, don't, don't even start with me. She's got a bad attitude sometimes. <laughs> Yeah.